times the curtain go up? Six. Sorry about this, partner. Don't worry, we'll get there. I promise. It's all right, Dad. It's not your fault. Do me a favor, call the number in the manual. Come on, let's get out of the weather. Birthday, and we've got a six o'clock curtain at Radio City. Let me have a look, okay? Yeah. Mom, it's okay with me if we don't go. I mean, now it's a hassle trying to get. We have promised you Radio City, and we're going to go. If we have to rent a car, that's what we'll do. Roadside assistance? My father kept telling me he couldn't buy American. <laughs> Oh, heap of mine's got 200,000 on it. All I ever done was change the oil regular. There it is there. Route 22, uh, near the Mount Kisco <clears throat> exit. Thank you very much. You stay here, sweetheart. There, that should hold you till you get to a station. There's one up at the Mount Kisco exit. Oh, thanks a lot. I really appreciate it. Okay. They said 20 minutes. We'll call and cancel once we get going. Hun, will you give him a hundred? Come on, mister. All I did was tighten the belt. I know. You did a lot more than that. You saved the day for us. Buy your girlfriend dinner. Dinner, huh? Dinner ain't nothing with the stash you got, honey. Let's get out of here, Jerry. Give me the money! <laughs> against a challenge here. Toughest one we faced. Question is, how up to it are we? The answer has got to come from inside of each and every one of you. When you look in the mirror, will you be able to say, I gave everything I had, 110%? Will you be able to say it, men? Will you? I can't hear you. Yeah. yeah. That's more like it, men. The championship game is Saturday, but we still have to add five more plays to our repertoire. This, which I like to call three pick and roll blue misdirect, is the simplest of those five. And that's the one I want to work on right now. You didn't tell him. Did you? He's up all night working on these plays. He thinks they're great. They stink! And we can't remember them. We're gonna get killed. I wish Mr. Simonetti was back. Either you tell him the plays stink, or we will. It's as simple as that. Okay! 
Inbounds from end court. Let's run this puppy. Can I talk to you? No time for talking now, David. Uh, it's important. That three pick and roll blue misdirect. What about it? Well, maybe it'll work better if we inbounds it at midcourt. Maybe you're right. Thanks. Okay, inbounds at a set of court. Let's go. Okay, girls. We have a championship to win. Let's go. What are we paying taxes for? That cop car has been parked outside the bowling alley all hours of the day. We're paying a salary. He's working on his average. Excuse me, ma'am. I'm Commissioner Scally. You say one of our cars is constantly parked at the bowling alley? Car number 23, ad infinite. Uh, Luke Jarrett, he's on a day tour. Ma'am, you can rest assured, if there's a problem here, we'll correct it. And I want to thank you for your concern. I seen your picture in the paper. Thought you were taller. I should be. Marty Skoronsky says he thought I'd been sending Luke down to the lanes. Thought it was a program to curb vandalism on the video machines. That's why Marty's been letting him bowl for free. Well, Luke Jarrett has bowled his last game on city time. Where are you going? I am going to give Officer Luke Jarrett an experience. Uh, no, you're not. We got a homicide on Route 22. Carol? Carol? Mr. Sullivan. Oh, God. My wife is dead. Hey, hey, listen to me. Come on, what color was the truck? You want to help us get him, don't you? Um, it, it was just... Uh, I don't know. It, was, it didn't have a color. It was just faded. I don't know. Red, I think. I'll get him to you in an hour. It looks like he hit her with a sledgehammer caved in her face. Was it normal for her to carry around 1,500 cash? I always wanted her to have enough for emergencies. I pay for everything in cash. Mr. Sullivan, your son. I thought you said he was all right. Mark? He's OK, physically, as far as I can see. But he may have witnessed the attack. Do you know if he saw what happened? For him to see this, my god. Today's his birthday. Of course, he didn't make the tag on the truck. There must be a million old pickups around. Put him on Tri-State anyway. Yeah. Don't worry, son. Your dad will be okay. So what do you say? Who's up for a quickie? Huh? A couple games before things get busy? Now what's your average now, Luke? 203. Huh? Come on, I'll spot each of you. 20 pins a game. Thanks, but no thanks. The commission tells me I got a new partner all of a sudden. Gonna have to make sure he gets with the program. Hello, Luke. Meet your new partner, Officer Ball. Uh, boss, I... I got no excuse. Things have been slow, and I... I always had my radio with me. I wouldn't have missed a call. You were right, Luke. You got no excuse. I draw a suspension? No. Your first offense, this one's on me. But if there's a next time, it's on you. Thanks, boss. There won't be a next time. I'm so glad. Now, give me. Bye.
left the 710 crate. You were rotten when we were kids, and you're still rotten. Yeah, beat you like a drum. Uh-huh. Remember the time you lofted one three alleys over? You almost killed Petey Stariano. Fortunately, it hit him in the head. The ball was never the same. This is true. <laughs> you know, I, I just can't get that kid out of my mind. Mark Sullivan. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, I just read where Jack's taking the business public. 35 million he's in line for. Yeah, well, 35 million won't buy his kid a mother. If Jack isn't able to give us some kind of description on that perp or something on that truck, Mark may be the only hope we have. When's Jack getting out of the hospital? They're due to release him tonight. I'm sorry to bother you this late. It's all right. I only just got home. We know. Uh, is there anything you can remember about the guy uh, or his vehicle? Anything at all? All day I've been trying to think, but there's... Hey, you okay? Nothing more. Hey, you should still be in the hospital. I wanted to come home. Um, Mark stayed with Carol's sister last night, but I... I wanted us to be together. Would you mind if I talked to him? Mark's a very sensitive boy. The last two years, we've been sending him to a school that specializes in kids with emotional difficulties. The Oak Street School? My wife teaches there. Please, Mr. Sullivan, whatever Mark saw could be a big help to us. Mark, these men want to ask you some questions. Hi, Mark. My name's Tony. Mark, the man you saw yesterday, when your dad's car broke down, do you remember what he... These men are trying to help us, Mark. Please, I want you to tell them what happened. It's okay, son. It's all right. They're a great place, Dad. Will you look at this? Will Chamberlain's coming to town for a book signing. Maybe we can get his autograph. Wilt the stilt scored a hundred points in a single game. Imagine that. All the guys think they're great plays. You like double pivot reverse alley oop? That's my favorite. Uh, first trimester. I'd forgotten the thrill. It's just that Mr. Simonetti never gave us plays, and we were winning. But we're going into the championships. Teams have scouted you. What we need is the element of surprise. Trust me, we run that double pivot, and Aunt mouths are gonna be hanging open. Better get my stuff. Kiss your mother. Good boy. Honey, why don't you stop trying to be like that Wolf Bryant? Bear Bryant. That was football. Just let them play. Rach, you don't know anything about basketball. It's a science these days. Hmm. I remember Carol Sullivan from some parent-teacher meetings. She was so nice. Do you have any leads? Jack hasn't been able to give us anything. And his son. We don't know what he knows. Whatever Mark Sullivan saw, it's just locked inside him. When he was in my class, I remember being struck by how, I don't know, how meticulous he was with his work. And he always wanted to know the scientific names for things, you know, like animals and plants. My heart breaks for him. Who's the school psychologist? Rita Brodeck. You want me to tell her you'll call? Uh, tell her I'll come by. He and his wife started their business in their garage. Last year, they donated the new altar at St. Charles Church. 
That's where her funeral is going to be. What are you going to do, call a collection service? I know I'm three months behind. There's a recession going on. Where is he? When I got it, you'll get it. Mama, that's the best I can do. We got trace evidence of skin on the Carol Sullivan's fingernails. We'll do a DNA workup. Prints from the car? No, nothing. Nothing the computer likes so far, anyway. Hospital record? Uh, let's see. Jack had two cracked ribs and a mild concussion. He had some aperidine in his blood. He's got a herniated third lumbar. How are we doing on that red pickup? Grid search turn up anything? Nothing yet. Mark Sullivan is shut down completely. I'm trying to find a way to get him to open up. We all are, Commissioner. Yeah, but every hour, every day that passes makes my job that much harder. Well, Mark will talk about what happened when he's ready to. Well, can't you help him to get ready? Well, there's no magic formula. I'm sure you can understand that. His mother was killed in front of him. Can you understand that? I know you have Mark's best interests at heart. I do. So do I. With all due respect, you have a crime on your hands. Solving that crime is your primary interest, and that's as it should be. Mark Sullivan's emotional health is my primary interest, and that's as it should be. Dr. Brodeck. The only thing that will help him is time and a carefully orchestrated therapy, which I don't believe you are qualified to administer. And I would urge you not to try any bull in the china shop approach, or you may very well achieve the exact opposite results all of us are after. Chinese okay? We had Chinese three times this week. Whoa, man, look at this idiot. This guy's either drunk or stoned. I didn't make the plate. This could be the, the suspect truck in that murder. Pull over to the right. The red pickup truck. Pull over to the right. Get him. Okay. All right. Here we go. forthwith. You found him. We may be close. Oh, well, that's fantastic. What can I do? How are you able to... We ran the plate, got his description, his address, and his name. Mike Welbeck. Mean anything to you? Did he confess? He got away, is what happened. We're not even sure he's the guy who killed your wife. But at least he's someone we can talk to when we catch him. We uh, alerted the, uh, the transit authorities and the airport police. We'll find them. How's Mark? He's still, uh, well, I, I think we're both still in shock. Uh, I'm trying to get him to talk about it for his own good. Sure. I've been talking to him about his mother, uh, the way she'd want him to go on. How she loved him. How she loved all of us. <sighs> we were very close family. Uh, it's okay, Jack. 
I'll be in touch when we find the guy, okay? After all this time, you think you'd stop trying to figure out why the brakes fall the way they do. Our kids right down the hall, sawing wood, happy, safe, and secure. And just down the road, there's another kid who sat in a car on his birthday and watched his mother get beaten to death. About time. I'm here, ain't I? So what do you got for me? <laughs> My name's Sullivan, 1451 McKinley Avenue. Can you send over a squad car, please? I just shot an intruder. Thank you. I can't tell you how sorry we all are, and uh, don't worry about the public offering. We'll get extensions on all the filing deadlines. Just take care. Bye. up and he was just um he was coming at me uh, there was only the desk light on and I, I all i saw was the knife i don't even remember taking the gun out of the drawer i didn't get a look at his face till after i shot him there's no forced entry that we can see well he took carol's purse her keys must have been in it when he got the address from her license i guess he figured i could identify him 
came here to finish me off. <laughs> Ran into a buzzsaw. Where's Mark? Upstairs asleep. Thank God he didn't see this. Well, at least now you can try to put this all behind you and concentrate on healing your son. Thank you, Commissioner. You know, you, you think you have the world by the... And all of a sudden, the only thing that makes it worthwhile is gone. You realize whatever success you have, it's not worth a damn if you don't have the people to share it with. Well, if there's anything at all, don't hesitate. Take care, huh? Thank you. I guess I'm getting a little rusty. Aren't you Wilt Chamberlain? You got me. You have a game today? Practice for the championship Saturday. Sounds like someone's forcing you. We're gonna get killed. Well, you can't let yourself be beat before the tip-off, man. Have you ever had a coach that's screwing up the team? One or two. Well, what'd you do? I played the best I could, but he's still the coach. Why, do you have a problem? Don't suppose the coach was over your dad. Yeah, you really have a problem. Come on, man, what are you doing? We got a lot of work to do today. Oh, my God. Will Chamberlain. I know you're practicing. Would you mind if I fooled around a while? Are you kidding? I'm Tony Scally. And this is my son, David, and the rest of the team. Uh, Andrew, Tommy, Steve, uh, Billy, Vince, Steve, Mark, Jason, Steve. Hi, fellas. Hi. Uh, Coach, I don't want to get in your way, so I want you to go ahead and run your place. Oh, right, sure. Uh, OK, men, uh, two fake reverse split the post. Go ahead. No. Fake reverse. Fake reverse. Those, those are your plays? Yeah. No one knows the game better than you. What do you think? Looks like playing for the space shuttle with me. Let's see, the center goes off left right there? Uh, no. The point guard rolls right and takes the high post. No, that's the point guard. He's going right? Uh, see, I, I built in a misdirect. See, we have the city tournament uh, this Saturday, and I, uh, I wanted us to have the element of surprise. Didn't you have plays like this when you won all those championships? If we had plays like those, we wouldn't make it to the playoffs. Fun to me. Men, gather around. Uh, men, uh, I've made a decision. Uh, we're gonna go back to playing the way you played for Mr. Simonetti. Well, what about the element of surprise? Well, uh, they'll be expecting us to have new plays. And the fact that we don't, uh, that'll be the element of surprise. OK, let's play. Yeah. Hey, 
He's on the clock. Talking won't do it with this guy. I'm gonna give him an experience. Hey, Tony, look, I got liability to worry about here. Any he heat comes down, it's on me. Hi, Mark. You want to play volleyball with Matthew Abramson and the guys? Matthew's still your friend, isn't he? Honey, you want to talk? About what happened? <laughs> Mark? Mark? Somebody call the nurse's office. Feeling a little better? You know, I've really missed having you in my class. Mrs. Dixon says you're doing great, but between you and me, I'm kind of jealous that she's got you now. You still have that fish tank at home? I remember when you brought in those pictures of all your fish. I was always really impressed that you knew the scientific names. I remember we went to the aquarium, and there was that one fish that nobody could figure out what it was. But you said right away it was the, the Euripidus? You mean, it was Euphagus, Jurapar. Right. And when I told your dad, he was so proud of you. My dad wasn't stealing. What do you mean? He wasn't stealing. Well, of course he wasn't. Stealing is wrong. No, no. He was just taking back what that man took from my mom. That's all. She's taking it back. Loves you, baby. <laughs> you know, some guys can't win for losing. We found Carol Sullivan's purse alongside the road. The perp must have pitched it from the truck. Her appointment book was still in it. She's had five meetings in the last two months with a divorce attorney. Jack said they were real close. That's what I'm saying. Carol's gonna dump him, and the guy doesn't even see it coming. It happens, Tom. I thought me and Diane were close. I thought so right up to the day she filed. You talked to the lawyer? Yeah, he was mom, you know, privilege. <sighs> Jackson line to make 35 million when his business goes public. Why would she want to divorce him now? Well, you want a scenario? She's tired of the guy. So she starts playing slap and tickle with the pool man. Pure passion. If she divorces Jack now, she gets a $5 million settlement. She figures oh, I can muddle through on that. Boom, she's got money, passion, and a clean pool. You lived in L.A. too long. Tony? What's the matter? David OK? He's fine. Hi, Paul. Hey, kid. Mark Sullivan just told me something really strange. You got him to talk? He said his father wasn't stealing. I don't get it. What does that mean? Well, there was a loud noise, and he went downstairs. He said that his dad was just taking back what the man took from his mom. Jack told us that Mark was upstairs sleeping. Why would he lie? Uh, maybe he didn't know. Well, Mark sees his mother get killed, and the first thing he thinks to talk about is his father not stealing? Maybe that's all he can bring himself to talk about. You say Jack didn't know Mark saw him? Just like he didn't know about the divorce? Yeah, it's possible. Carol was going to dump him. How could he not know that? Hey, you know, the trouble with you two is you communicate. Uh, this is not always the case. I thought me and Diane communicated. What if he did know? Well, what if he did? Look, once they get the urge to travel, Tony, forget about it. I mean, they're gone. 
They take as much as their lawyers can get as for them. As much as they're them. entitled to, except they never even get that. Uh, hold it, you guys. This ain't Oprah. <sighs> look, all right, look, I'm sorry, all right? I get emotional on this subject. Plus, I miss half my dining room set, which I went into hock to buy in the first place. This is 35 million we're talking about, not a dining room set. Let's say Sullivan did know about the divorce. He and his wife are taking their business public. They're partners. But if she splits, the company is devalued by half. Now maybe he can't go public. But if his partner is dead, he's the sole owner and the deal goes through. If he did orchestrate her death, he'd have to pay off a killer. But then he'd be open to blackmail. Mike Welbeck. Who is now dead. To make it all complete, Jack would want a corroborating witness. And he had that in the form of a 10-year-old kid in the back seat of the car. Oh, my God, Tony. No, oh, wait, Jack doesn't have a witness. The kid's not talking. He had the best witness in the world. A traumatized child. If Mark comes out of it, fine. If he doesn't, that's fine, too. Either way, Jack wins. He thinks. I'd love to bust the guy, but we don't have enough to make it stick. Jack's too smart to spook. And if he thinks we're on to him, that could jeopardize Mark. What I'd really love to do is search Sullivan's house. Whatever he stole from Mike, maybe it's still there. But we don't know what we're looking for. No judge is going to give us a warrant just to browse. The guy Sullivan killed, we searched his apartment. A rat hole over on Norton. Mike Welbeck had an envelope with 14 grand cash taped to the back of a chest of drawers. Sullivan said he believed in paying cash for everything. Maybe Mike hit it big at the track. Or maybe this time Sullivan was telling the truth. <sighs> Go through his bank records, big cash withdrawals. There are a lot of little ones that give us that same amount or greater. I went through that hospital report again. He didn't just have some meperidine in his blood. He had 150 milligrams. That's enough to tranquilize a cow. So what does that prove? He knew Mike was gonna have to hurt him to make it look real. He was just taking back what he stole from Mom. The 1,500 bucks? Sell him tips more than that at lunch. Yeah, well, the kid was pretty shaken up. He probably doesn't know what he saw. Hmm. Maybe he didn't see what Jack took because he didn't take anything at all. Besides the knife, what if he planted something on Mike? What if he gave him something? No, Sullivan said the keys were in his wife's purse when Mike stole it. If we think Sullivan killed two people, is lying so out of the question? Where's the print report? We didn't dust the key? Well, we had Mike dead on the floor. What was the point? Well, there's a point now, isn't there? The thumbprint on the left is Mr. Sullivan's. The one on the right we just lifted from the key. Any partials that might be Carol Sullivan's? No, this is the only one. Was Mike wearing gloves? Nope. Well, if he used this key to get into the house, which is what Sullivan said, then Mike's print should be on it. Um, I really don't have time for this. We've got a filing deadline. My account. Oh, denied. yeah, I read about this. Your company's going public. Well, no, you won't unless we file before close of business hey, fellas, tomorrow. Fellas, could you excuse us, please? Uh, how long is this going to take? Keep your pants on. <sighs> hmm. 
Jack, you miserable bastard, you're going to jail. What? You paid Mike Welbeck cash to kill your wife. Then when he came back here to collect the rest of his dough or because you tricked him into coming back, you killed him too. That's a libelous statement. Shut up! You staged the breakdown of your car. You knew you were gonna get beat up, so you took 150 milligrams. What are you taking? <laughs> this was the clincher. You planted it on Mike. Your fingerprints are on it. No one else's. I didn't do it. Oh, you did it, Jack. I know you did, because Mark saw you do it. What you have is purely circumstantial. My son witnessed his mother's death, and when he recovers, he'll testify to that. No jury with a heart would doubt him. Are you willing to take that chance? Are you willing to take the chance that a jury won't convict a guy who's rich already, but who's willing to kill to become filthy rich? Very unsympathetic in these economic times. Think, Tony. Think about your career. If you are stupid enough to file, you'll be up against the best defense attorneys in the country. A hundred grand just to return your call. Oh, and, and who's on your team? $300 a week bureaucrats who are gonna get their measly check no matter what. Doesn't it frost you, Tony? I mean, you've got so much more on the ball, but you have to rely on them. Guys with, with no vision who spend their whole lives collecting civil service wages. And when it's all over, they, they barely get enough for a one-bedroom shack in Fort Lauderdale. Maybe you're right. <laughs> I got people working for me who drive you nuts. For instance, the guy's in charge of the evidence room. Stuff disappears. And you wonder how, because the whole room is just one big cage. But evidence like this, these guys lose it. Cases get blown all the time. Costs us a fortune. What would you consider a fortune? A million dollars. Mm, it's not worth half that. Sure it is. And it's not worth a penny more than 600,000. Eight. Seven. Fifty. Done. Okay, Polly. Come in and get him. Well, what is this? Surprise! You can't do that. Yeah. See, there's a little transmitter in the back. This might... No, that's illegal! You cannot do that. That's illegal? You son of a bitch! You killed your own wife, and you did it in front of your son! Tommy! You were willing to sacrifice him to save your deal! Get him out of my sight! That's entrapment. You entrapped me to solicit a bribe. You won't be charged with bribery. It'll be murder. The murder you admitted. I made a statement of fact. Evidence gets lost. You offered to pay for that which is something that only a guilty man would do. And that'll stand up in court, my friend. Take my word for it. Get him out of here! better team, that's all. I've been there, but here. Oh, thanks. Would you... I've already done it. 
Couldn't the coach just let him play? Oh, thanks, Will. Stick in here, David. Thanks again. It's a step in the right direction. His teacher told me he'll be living with Carol's sister. They were always very close. I don't know how you did it. I tried to talk to him to get something I could use. I got nothing. I wasn't trying to get something. Thanks for the lesson. I'll have to remember it. <laughs> <laughs> 